guy told me one time, don't let yourself get attached to anything. You are not willing to walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around the corner. Now, if you're around me and you got to move when I move, how do you expect to keep a, a marriage? Well, that's an interesting point. This is Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. <clears throat> Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Yahweh being the name of the Father, who people are going to call God, Yahweh Shai is his son. People are going to call Jesus Bahashem Rakakudash. That's in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. And double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth. And Lord will us let them be at a to the elect. Uh, going in today on it's high time to wake out of sleep, you know, speaking to you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, you know, even uh, speckled birds, you know, those that may look like the other nations, but your lineage actually goes back to being an Israelite. And the way that you're going to know that is because you are vibe, you, you, uh, you could receive this word, this truth, and you believe it. Now, this is not a, a, a color thing. This is not a black thing. This is not a, you know, it's it's ultimately uh, your bloodline, you know. And it's uh goes back to who we are being a, a, the different 12 tribes. <clears throat> so I'm just going to bring out a few scriptures and, you know, Lord, will this lesson be edifying to the elect? Because that's all who we are, are, you know, bringing these lessons out to, to those that's of the hopeful elect. Because we don't know that we are the elect until, you know, we actually receive salvation from them chairs. You know, we get taken up out of here by what people call UFOs, you know, uh, the chairs that they speak of in the scriptures. So, again, I'm going to bring out a few scriptures. And Lord, will this lesson be edifying? Um, Matthew 16 and 3, it says, matter of fact, I'm going to start at 1. It says, the Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, when it is, when it is evening, you say it will be fair weather for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? And that's what we telling our people, man, we letting... You so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans know, hey, these are the signs because, you know, it's written within the scripture. You know, you got wars, rumors of wars, you got earthquakes. So we're warning our people of the things that are happening, the signs, you know, other times to let you know that who people are going to call Jesus and his true name is Yahweh Shai is on his way. And that's the that's the main purpose of us. You know, doing this and also working out our own salvation with fear and trembling by bringing out, you know, this gospel, letting it for our people to repent, to turn from, you know, do a 180, turn from their wickedness, from doing wrong, you know. So this is uh, Matthews, Matthew 24, and starting at 24. It says, for there shall arise false Hamashiach. Hold on. 24 and 42, Salakia. This is Matthew 24 and 42. It says, watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. We don't know. You know, nobody has that timetable where they could say it's, it's stamped in stone. What, what time? He said, no man know the day nor the hour. So it says, watch therefore. So we should be watching. Shouldn't be just getting all involved into the things of this world and to I'm trying to go to go to college and get this degree so I could, you know, have this type of career, you know, 
lay up with this person and this person and go clubbing and, you know, no, we supposed to be about our father's business. So it says verse 43, but no, know, know this, that if the good man of the house had known and what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up, broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the son of man cometh. So how people are right now, people are not expecting the return of Yahweh Shah. So it's going to come as, you know, a thief in the night. Even though the signs are showing, and even when the shit started hitting the fan, the time of Jacob's trouble hit, all the way up to World War Three, hitting right in in the backyard of America, people are still are going to be uh, trying to be a part of doing folly, like as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the days of Noah. People are just going to be partying, bullshitting, getting in marriage, you know, doing everything under the sun, but. Endeavoring to, to know Yahabash Shai and to, to repent and to you know turn from their ways that was that's going off according to the scriptures. That's what it is about, man. It is about you know being repentant. This is first Thessalonians five. And starting at one, it says, But of the times and the seasons, brother, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So once it all goes down, once the ball begins to roll, you know, that snowball effect, it's going to be nothing that nobody's going to be able to do to, to stop, like I says about a, a woman in travail, basically a woman having having those birth pains, having, having, having a child. Once they start, you, they, they don't stop till the baby comes. And that's how it is going to be with Yahweh Shah's return. You know, you're going to have all these, these signs that, that are being pushed out. Cause you're not going to have the men of the Lord out here, you know, pushing lessons out, out there on the highways and hedges when this time comes. When, when, when Jacob's trouble come, Hey, you best believe, Hey, the men of the Lord are going to be, you know, taking care of their self. You know, that they, they, they're going to be taking care if they got family, taking care of their family. They're not going to be worried about not even saying word, but they're not going to be concerned about pushing this gospel because then it's really going to be come to a halt. This, this word is going to come to a halt. This is gonna, it's going to be a, a, not a famine of bread, but a famine of this word, as the scriptures speak of. So this is uh first Corinthians chapter seven. And all we do. That first Corinthians chapter seven and verse twenty nine, because all we do is just go over the scriptures, just bring them out so that you can't say you didn't know. You know, it's a, it, this is to get that blood off of our hands, saying, "Okay, hey, Yahweh Shemal shot. We did our best. We did what we were supposed to do. Lord will, you know." First Corinthians seven and twenty nine. But this I say, brother, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. So, you know, you might say, I got a wife, I got children, I got a family. So you putting that in the, in the front instead of putting, you know, and, and putting your how about Shemar Shah on a back burner, which, hey, that'll be your demise, you know, because of who's who has the power to to cover, to protect your family? Your how about Shemar Shah? That's where the faith comes in. Because you start... But then, too, you have to be willing to, to forsake it all, to, to lose it all. That don't mean you just, you know, you put uh, your, your children, you don't you don't care for them, you don't love them, you don't show them no, no kind of attention. But your main priority is going to be, you know, this, this truth. Verse 30, it says, and they that, and that's why you get it, uh, you get it while you can get it, man. You get it, you don't, don't wait till, till the time comes. You know, when the flood hits and then try to get this truth. No, now, now it's high time to wake out of sleep because our salvation is nearer than when we believe. It says, verse 30, and they that weep as though they wept not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as though they uh, possess not, and they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passes away. So, hey, everything in this world is going to be eradicated. It's going to be done away with. 
That's why getting attached and all connected to this world is 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 waste. It's a waste of time. You know. That's why in the in the beginning uh, uh it said uh, uh about the why, but be as though you you don't have no why because you trying to get attached and, and connected. If you ain't in a relationship with a with a woman as far as having her being your wife, hey, this I, I wouldn't suggest it. <laughs> you know, getting all deep and involved because hey, that's gonna be more of a focus in your in your life. You wanna you gonna have to. You know, like they say, do benevolence. You got to give your wife that time. And right now, hey, if if you already got her, hey, then hey, the most high here give you grace to be able to handle, you know, this truth as well as your wife and your, you know, and your family if you got seeds. But if not, hey, it's best that you just give your attention over to your Habar Shemar Shah because he's a jealous power. And then a woman, a woman in your life, she'll get jealous of this truth. She'll start feeling some type of way that you want to spend more time uh, taking time out to study. You going off to, the, you know, in the cut, going to study, whether you go to a library or your, your man cave or whatever, and you're in your car, she might think you fooling around with another woman. In, in actuality, you are because it's truth is like unto Sophia, you know, wisdom. So, hey, that's just another uh, battle that you have to deal with. You know, but if you don't have no woman, you know, that's something of a, of a less strain in your life that you have to worry about. So I'm going to jump to Ephesians chapter five, and I'm going to close it on this one. Ephesians five and starting at verse 15. It says, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, you know, knowing what's going on around us. And in the, in the NLT, it says, so be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Verse 16, it said, redeeming the time because the days are back in the, uh, the KJV. Verse 16, it says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You know, in the NLT, it says, make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. You got to make due time of that the time that we have, even this time that's these days is evil, bad times. You got to make the best of these days of these, you know, because, hey, we already know that, hey, Yahweh Shai, he's coming like a thief in the night. He's going to come, you know, when people are, are least expecting it. Not that you ain't, it's not going to be signs, but it's going to be least expected to those who do not know. You know, it's like we preaching to the choir, it seems like sometimes, but, hey, we got to uh, push out the truth to those that hear or, or forbear, whether you listen or not. Verse 16, it said, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Verse 17, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh is for us to get this truth while we while we still can. You know, don't get all caught up into the things of this world. Don't be so caught up into, oh, I got to go here. I got to go there. I got to do this. Hey, just keep life simple. That's our best bet in this time that we're in, man. Just keep things simple. Because hey, if, if you if you got your hand in this and this and that and that, when when shit start hitting the fan, hey, you gonna have to. That's like that scripture that I speak about. You know, uh, I'm just paraphrasing it. Basically, he was. You ain't gonna be able to go back to to. I believe it's in the apocrypha. Basically, you ain't gonna be able to go back to the things that you need. You know, to get it. When something when when the shit hit the fan, when things start going down. You ain't going to be able to say, oh, I got to go back and I got to get this. I got to because you haven't, you know, you starting to you care for the things of this world. But if you, you know, free, you be like, man, I don't give a damn about none of that. I'm just in the right here and the right now and I'm gone. You know, that's like that movie that I always think about when these scriptures come up. Uh, I think it was gone in 60 seconds or something. No, no, because I think that's that. But basically, it's, uh, with, I think Robert De Niro, where uh, he said, if you can't drop it in 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 a, in a matter of seconds, you know, you you should be able to drop whatever it is in a matter of seconds. You know, I forget how how many how many how quick it was. Matter of fact, let me try to find it real quick. All right, so it was the movie uh, Heat, Heat, and uh, and it was thirty seconds. He said. 
and then I'll probably put the clip. Hopefully they don't take it down. But basically, he just said, hey, you got to be able to leave. He said, how are you going to have a marriage? And you can't just, you trying to follow me. He said, the heat around the corner, you ain't be able to leave with, you know, 30 seconds. He up out of here. You got to go. And that's how we got to be with this truth, man. So, Lord, will this is edifying to the elect out there. And with that, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to you all came out there that's fighting this good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. Till next time, Lord will.